What's going on today? We're going to put some brass knuckles on the SEX 10 Pro. It's uh, SSD knuckles. It's the SSD 00472. I heard that these knuckles will fit, and I also heard that the trill knuckles will fit. This was basically made for the SEX 10 3 straight axle truck. But uh, first, we're going to get the weight of the truck as it is, and then we're gonna put the knuckles on there and get another weight, so this will just be a short video. There won't be no running in this video, it'll probably be in the next video. Okay, we got the truck on the scales. We're just gonna look at the scales and see what they say. Uh, side weight's perfect, 50-50. Front could use a little bit, it's 54.46, and the overall weight is 24.55. So now we'll put the brass knuckles on and see how much of a difference it makes. Okay, first we'll just take the wheels off. Okay, we got the wheels off. Now we just have to undo these knuckles. Should be pretty simple. Get the main one first. Take the forgot I gotta take the the wheel nuts off. Silly me. Wheel nuts off. Alright. It's a tight fit in there. Gotta get the bearings out of the wheel nuts. I mean, out of the knuckles, should be pretty simple to do. Push, push up on it and rotate it. That way you don't scar nothing. There's one. And this other one, I had to use the old hook trick. No, it come right out, cool. Okay. So we'll put this one on the outside. Tight fit, tight fit. Got a little sand on my workbench here. Put this one on the inside. And let's see if we get something to push that down in there. It's looking pretty close. It ain't completely seated yet, but it's pretty close. Let's try. That's not it. So we'll just get a, uh, a socket that's probably the same size as it is. Pretty much it right there. Get the socket. Don't take a whole lot. Check, make sure it's flush all the way around. Yes, yeah, flush all the way around. Flush on the front, flush on the front. Now all we gotta do is Make sure you put your brass on your screw. Come with your SSD. Oh, I'm not sure exactly how Trill does theirs. I don't think I've bought any Trill knuckles before. And just tighten it down just snug a little bit because it's going to be riding on that brass it's not going to be riding on the uh bolt like the other ones shoulder bolts where they have that little 
ridge to ride on. And now we will just try to keep the other axle from getting dirty. And we'll put the one on bottom. Like I said, be sure to put that brass insert in there. And our Snug it up just a little bit. You'll still want to be able to turn it. There you go. All right. Now, since we already got it upside down, we might as well go ahead and put this one on. And take your... Screw and put your brass insert on it. Flip it over. Put your top screw in with the brass insert. Loosen this one up a little bit. It don't have enough enough play in it. There we go. Make sure they're both moving freely. Don't don't worry about it. If it takes a lot to back these bolts out once you get them in. All right. Now we just put our cross link bar in. And this was the same way. It's real hard to get it in there, get it started, because it's a tight, tight fit. Well, you're right, it's, it's a little tight, so we're gonna grind into the ball down just a little bit. This ball, rod end ball, is too thick to fit in between the double shear here. So we're gonna grind it down just a hair. So now we've ground both ball ends down. It should fit in there with no problem. Slides right in, just like cake. Now with this one, we have to put the servo link on it like that so we will need a long screw and we'll just use the stock one because I think the one that comes with the SSD is not long enough probably wouldn't hurt to put a little Loctite in this I already got the screw started in there. I will just drop me a drop in the bottom. We won't tell nobody though. Did I do a little, little cheating there? Anytime you're using metal to metal, you know, you put your little Loctite in there. Won't hurt nothing. Just don't use Loctite on plastic unless it's made for it because. When you back the screw back out, it will take the plastic with it. Okay, we got that one set in. Now we will just put the other one in. And it should fit in there with no problem. No problem getting this one lined up. There we go. And I believe that's that's the wrong screw. That's the right screw. 
but just do it the same way. That way we don't have to worry about getting any on the on the ball. Flip it upside down, put us a drop in there. It's a long screw I'm thinking I used. No, I guess it's right. That's pretty much it right there. It's ready to go with the brass. So we're gonna put the wheels back on it, the hex is back on it, and the wheels back on it. Let's see what we got going on. Okay, now we're gonna get it to the scales. Check it out. Let's see if there's any any kind of clearance issues. It's looking like we're getting the full throw out of our steering. Okay, we got the truck on the scales. We got the brass knuckles on it. And I don't think there's a big difference just in weight, mostly 2604 is the total weight. Uh, we got 56% of the weight up front and 44 in the back. So I'll sum it up at the end of this video and we'll figure out what we got. Okay, I recalibrated my scales to make sure this was right. The truck weighed 5.4 pounds before I put the brass knuckles on it. After I put the brass knuckles on it, it weighed 5.7 pounds. So it's not a whole lot. Uh, the front to back weight ratio before I put the brass knuckles on it, it was 54.46. After I put the brass knuckles on it, it went up to 56.44, which is only a 2% difference. But this truck wasn't lacking a whole lot. If you noticed in my last video where I run it without a body, it just needed just, just seem like a little bit, but hopefully this won't be too much. And these numbers, they're kind of deceiving on this because I've seen trucks, well, I've actually got trucks that run at 60.40, and I'd be, I'd really say they don't perform as good as this truck at 54.46. So uh, the next couple videos you'll see is probably me running this truck with the brass knuckles on it. And we're going to try to get a body painted one day this week. So if you're not subscribed, you might want to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And remember till next time, I love you, but God loves you more.